There are numerous John and Jane Doe's across the country. The nonprofit DNA Doe Project is dedicated to identifying them. Based in California, they have volunteers all over the world, including some right here in Austin. It's so amazing to be able to do this work. There are grieving families out there that don't know what happened to their loved one. They just know that they're gone and we want to bring them closure. We want to be able to bring those does home for proper burials. Investigative genetic genealogist Rhonda Kravorkian says law enforcement will often contact them if they have a case they've been working on for a long time. She says many agencies can't afford this type of technology and the project gets funding through donations. When they get human remains, they'll do a DNA extraction. We are able to get DNA from molar teeth from femurs, from toe bones. They do whole genome sequencing and compare it to profiles in two systems called GEDmatch and Family Tree DNA. They use matches to build family trees of genetic relatives and see if there are common ancestors. Then they build forward to try to find who an unidentified person may have descended from. Here are two cases they're working on out of Travis County. Slaughter Creek Jane Doe found in April of 2020. Kevorkian says someone was walking their dog along a trail in a wooded area behind an apartment complex. The dog wandered off and found the decomposed body of a woman who'd been there for several weeks. Here are some of her identifying features. 40 to 55 years old, about 5'2 with brown and gray long hair, wearing a pink top and jeans. We are currently working on her case to try to bring that name to law enforcement to bring that to her family and hopefully bring them closure on what happened with her. They're also working on a Travis County John Doe from March of 2021. He was about 5'10 and 130 pounds with gray hair and brown eyes. Kevorkian says the DNA process can take hours or months, depending on the matches that come up. She says if you've taken a DNA test before, uploading it to Family Tree DNA or GEDmatch would be helpful so they can use it for comparisons. We use SNP testing, which gives us the ability to compare to all the way up to like fifth cousins. So we can show a relationship that's much more distant and get matches that way. Because no matter how a person may have died, they were all somebody. We just want to focus on that they were human beings that deserve to have their name back. Angela Shen, Fox 7 Austin News.